Happy War Surge Wednesday, true believers. Here we have the remnants of the last battle because I haven't cleaned yet. Here we have our War Surge rule book. I'm sure by now, since you've watched the first War Surge Wednesday, that you've been to the website, you've downloaded the rules, you've read the rules, you know how to play the game. You've gotten the app, you're building your forces. And then how do you start the game? Well, you start with the table, of course. You gotta have the table. You gotta have the terrain. Now, if you get in your War Surge rule book and you get into part five, competitive games, it's essentially the how to set up a game part. And it shows you battlefield sizes. I love this, um, these deployments they have going on here. I think the, the corners and the cross are kind of kooky. Um, and then they talk about objective markers and they give you the layout for a very basic game. But the point I want to make to you is if you're like me, you've played a lot of Warhammer 40,000. And if you're like me, you have a lot of Warhammer 40,000 publications lying around your house. Hold on a second. Things like old White Dwarf magazines, things like Chapter Approved, things like old rule books that will have tons of missions. This is the Altar of War book. If you get online and get into Google and type in Warhammer 40,000 Altar of War PDF, you can have this for free. Um, although I haven't looked for it myself. It's so old. And if you look for old Warhammer publications, most of them are free online because they're so old, they're, just, they're out there. Newer stuff you can't find for free, but you don't need it because there's so much older stuff to use. All right, true believers, this is, this is me in the future. And I wanted to make sure that I wasn't full of garbage when I said that you could just find it online. So I went to Google and I looked at it myself and I only found it on one website. It's this PDF Coffee. And then I didn't know if this website was sketchy or not. So I went ahead and downloaded it and here it is and it's complete and it looks good and um, nothing bad happened to my computer. And so have at it. Here you go. Alter of War, PDF Coffee. It's a good book. Enjoy. The point being is if you have a bunch of these older publications laying around your house, all of the missions in these books are easily played in the War Surge engine. All of them. Um, if you have favorite missions, just things you like to do, War Search is really that adaptable. And, um, and really just, just go crazy. There's no wrong way to do it. So now we have our battlefield and it looks real cool. And then we've pulled a mission out of one of our many mission sources. Maybe we pulled it out of the War Search book. Maybe we've pulled it from a different publication. Maybe we've made a mission up. These games belong to us. We are war gamers. We are reasonably intelligent mammals. We don't need to be told. We can figure it out. So we have our mission. We have our game. We have what we want to do. And uh, it's time to play a game. And I would like to show you the turn, the war surge turn. So what I've done is I've made two small forces here. Now I have to... Have a disclaimer, I'm using cultist rules for the scouts, because it's just two marines and five five scout cultists, and that's, that's how I've put it down, just for an easy game. And we're going to do the war surge turn, just one turn. So the first thing you do in the turn is you find out who the turn master is, and this applies in the first turn and every other turn. The first turn, the deployment phase is, is very large. There's a deployment phase in every turn, but in the first turn, you deploy the whole army or, you know, what you're putting on the table. And then every deployment phase after that is for reserves or units that have left the game and come back. But the first deployment phase is, is the big one. So you roll for the turn master every turn. So the chaos gets two, the marines get five. Now the marines won the roll. They don't have to be the turn master, though. They decide either they want to be the turn master or Chaos can be the turn master. Or, don't forget, War Surge can be played with many armies at once. It's really um, friendly to multiple player games. But So the Space Marines will go first, and they will deploy first on this table. So the Marines have put a unit down, and now we go back and forth, putting units down until everybody's deployed.
So now units have deployed. Done the deployment phase for turn one is over and we enter the movement phase. The turn master will move the first unit and then everybody takes turns back and forth moving. So now everyone has moved. The Space Marines moved up to the line. This chaos moved up to the line. And now the movement phase is over. Now we go into the attack phase where the turn master gets the first attacks. A Space Marine has a bolter, which is power four. A chaos Space Marine has a defensive four. And so you can take, and forgive the tau dice, we have two shots here from here, the Space Marines into the cultist. So we go that power four versus defense four, and we have one miss and one hit. And then chaos rolls its save, and it makes the save. Now that's war surge right out of the rule book, but with the perk system, you can change that, and that's what I've done, because war surge for me is a 40k proxy. And I like to hit and then wound as I've done my entire 40k career. And also, there are things about the one dice thing I don't like. Like, say you're an orc with a big shooter, and that's power five, and so you're going to wound a space marine on a three, but you're an orc, and you shouldn't be shooting that well, you know? So there are things about it I don't like, but the War Surge game makers have accommodated us by giving us a perk called Accuracy, which we can put on our models, or if the weapon's attacks values are different, you can put the aim perk on the weapon to decide that the weapon itself hits on a three, four, five, whatever it is. So that's what I've done. And so in my games of work, so it's just gonna work different. These two Marines are gonna shoot here. First, they're going to use their aim, or pardon me, their accuracy to hit on threes. And they've hit twice. Then they'll use their power versus the defense to wound once. And then the Chaos Marine would, of course, save on a three. So the unit with the bolters, they have done their attacking, right? And so then the Chaos would attack. And then um, anybody else who is in range and it could attack. We should know that, though, for the sake of the dash phase. We're going to say that the whole attack phase happened. And nobody was wounded at all. But everybody has shot, except for the people with pistols couldn't shoot, of course. Now, the attack phase is now over, and we go into the dash phase. Now, the Space Marines and the Chaos Space Marines shot their weapons, and their weapons have the battle type. And since they shot, and their weapons are battle, they do not get to dash. I recommend you get yourself some tokens, and again, if you're a long-time Warhammer player, you probably got a box of tokens lying around. And so you can use them to remember who has shot in the attack phase, and so then you get to the dash phase and you know, oh, well, these guys have shot with their battle weapons, they don't get to dash. But the cultists all have assault weapons, and then the people with pistols all have assault weapons. And so then they get to dash, and so you go into the dash phase, starting with the turn master. And so there's the first dash. And then the dash phase is over. And that is the end of turn one. Then you go into turn two, and then you each take a dice and you roll chaos, space marines. The space marines get a five, chaos gets a three. So the space marines again get to decide who the turn master is. And then you go into another deployment phase. If you have reserves, they would come on now. If you had units with the powers to leave the table and you would bring them back, that would happen now in the deployment phase. In the move phase, the attack phase, the dash phase, repeat. And that is how you play War Surge. Now there's all sorts of granularity and fun things you can do with the perk system, but these are basic units playing a basic turn. And the only way you can really find out all the fun little tricks and things to do is to get into your app and just start reading perks and then the whole world of creativity opens up in front of you so that is playing war surge on war surge wednesdays episode three thank you for watching everybody i hope you're all enjoying 
your War Surge. And if you haven't gotten it yet, don't forget, it's WarSurge.com for the free rules. The app costs $1 a month, or you can buy the whole thing for less than 20 By the way, I don't know the War Surge guy, and I'm not affiliated with them at all. I just like the game. Have a nice day, everybody.